Hey everyone, my name is Zoe and today I'm going to be talking about the basics of getting started with a healthy lifestyle. So I'm just going to be talking about five different things that should be basic knowledge to help you understand the basics of healthy living and help you get started. So get motivated and inspired. So looking on Instagram or Pinterest and finding accounts or just pins or just different posts that help inspire you. So this may be like people actually working out, their workout like progress shots or maybe just be quotes. But getting motivated to, will help you get started with your exercise and also with diet because I mean when I, I've got a couple of different Pinterest boards and there's like always so many uh, yummy plates of food that I just want to try and make myself so getting inspired and motivated is a great way to start. The next thing is starting with small improvements and just making healthier choices. So making a dramatic change from being say person A, Sarah, who's very unhealthy, she doesn't exercise at all to and she just eats takeout and junk food most days a week. You can't jump from that to a new Sarah where she trains six days a week and eats healthy everything. Just doing a big jump like that you won't be able to maintain it and you'll dislike and have hatred towards that lifestyle which will probably you won't make any improvements at all. At all. So just starting out with doing small improvements so say you don't do any exercise start maybe try and going walking walk maybe once a week or twice a week if you're doing some walking then maybe try running you could try different classes so pilates just trying different things and making small improvements say with your diet if you're eating takeout six to seven days a week try reduce that and make dinner at home a couple of days a week because generally when you make food at home it tends to be healthier and say if you have a bad habit try and reduce how often you do that habit or try and remove it from your life and I'll link a video about this in the cards and down below. The next thing is know your why. You need to know why you are deciding to change your life and trying to live a healthy life. You can't just do it because you saw people on Instagram and wanted to look like them. You need to have a reason within yourself why you want to be living your life this way and once you know that you've got to keep that in mind to help continue to make the healthier choices because although motivation is good at the start it's not a reliable resource it depletes over time your reason may be you want to get healthy for your family might want to risk reduce the risk of disease lose weight or gain muscle whatever the reason is know that it is the reason that you are doing it and keep that with you so you know why you are doing what you are doing Number four is don't force yourself to work out when you really don't want to. It's all well and good to have to say I have to work out five days a week but if there's a day where you just really feel low in energy, just really don't want to work out, don't force yourself to. If you do go and work out when you really didn't want to, you most likely won't make the most out of that session and you'll lose motivation for working out entirely and then you most likely won't want to continue doing that so if you really don't feel like doing it then just don't don't force yourself if you if it's just an off day and you don't want to do it don't force yourself it's okay to miss a couple of days and it doesn't mean that you failed in living a healthy lifestyle it's just it ha it's life it happens you're allowed to give yourself days off and not exercise if you really don't want to and you shouldn't feel guilty about it. So lastly is stick with it. Healthy living is essentially a compilation of a bunch of different healthy habits. So consistently making healthy decisions is the way to maintaining and living a healthy life. Even if all of those habits are small things, they will add up and lead to a healthy lifestyle. Even if it's just one thing you've changed one habit to be healthier, then that's an improvement and you're living a healthier life than you were before you changed that. So you've always just got to stick with it and then you will be living a healthier lifestyle. I've got two bonus tips. The first one is that healthy living is a combination of both exercise and healthy eating. So you can't just 
focus on one and ignore the other. You need to have a balance of both. Obviously you can go smash workouts out, but you can't do that and then eat a pizza and drink soft drink and all of that. You need to find a balance. The second bonus tip is that getting started is the hardest. So it's always the hardest. Getting started, we feel uncomfortable. It's not nice starting something new, that, especially with working out and eating healthy. So just getting started. Once you've started, you will be able to continue with it if you stick with it. So that sort of ties back to number five. So I hope you enjoyed this video. There will be more videos sort of getting into how to get started with healthy living in the future, in the next couple of weeks. But I hope you enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up if you did. I'll link the couple of myths about exercising and working out at the end of this video and also down below. Give it a thumbs up and subscribe and hopefully I'll see you in my next video. Bye.